Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary and we're gonna talk today about this finch knife. It's called the finch buffalo tooth. It's a really fat uh, blade, a really tall blade. I would call that a I guess a spear point. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna do like a a full-fledged review of this knife because I I think it's been out a while I did want to check its thickness it's 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 pretty a thin knife I was curious and I, I've never uh, uh, it's 0.46 I could have swore it was like maybe 0.4 it was it, it seems to me it's pretty thin it's a pretty thin knife Let's move this out of the way. So what I like about this knife is pr pretty much everything. I like the blade thickness. I, I like it. It's a spear point. And it's a chunk. It's a little, little chunk that you're, uh, you, you have in hand. I, I, I wanted to like dismiss this blade or this knife in general, the Finch knife but i come to like it it's a really lo sharp looking knife it has like a the bolster lock that i like and uh i think canuck brought it to my attention or somebody brought it to my attention that there is a jig titanium version of this knife um but i don't know somebody else brought it to my attention Sorry if I'm forgetting, it was like maybe five days ago you let me know. The Jig Titanium version is a frame lock. It's uh, it's not like a bolster lock. So I probably won't be getting the Jig Titanium version because I, I, secondly, I like the wood. First, I like the wood, hands down. But I saw a Jig Titanium, I'm like, oh man, I want to get the Jig Titanium. But when I found out it was a frame lock, eh, I'm going to pass on that. I have a lot of trouble with frame locks. Not all frame locks, but some frame locks. Uh, I always get my fingers in the path of the frame and I'll fuck it up. If And I don't want to think about that. I just want to flip the knife and without like thinking about um, where my fingers are. Like if it's not in the the path of the blade I'm fine with it so anyway if I buy this knife I'll probably buy buy the wood handle version if, if you look at that wood it's so it's so sharp it's 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 really really nice looking this uh frame is all titanium I think that's a maybe a first I don't think they Hmm, I don't think they always like uh, do titanium. Let me s just check on. Uh... Yeah. So I've already checked on this and I don't want to scratch it. I was checking on like these two knives and these aren't um, full titanium. And this one is. So that's probably makes it the, the price point with the hundred and. 95 a little bit stronger but i pulled these two out that i have more uh finch knives and i have a harvester that's the same of same uh, bolster lock as these two but I, I always show the harvester off i just wanted to show um two different knives off i, I don't ever pull out so this is the um yeah. doc holiday holiday and this is the finch 1929 that what what I like about this and uh, these remind me remind me of a classic uh, knife I'm gonna go get something that this buffalo tooth reminds me of stay stay right where you are okay I'm back <laughs> turns out it was right on the de desk next to me and I have so many knives over there I didn't even see it the buffalo tooth reminds me of this knife 
This is called a, I believe it's called an elephant toe. Elephant toe. And it's also a spear point. Let's clean this blade off. This is a, a gift that um, Knife Detector sent to me a long time ago. I don't, this is the Elephant Toe. I believe this is a Rough Rider Elephant Toe. It has like a, a spear point on both sides. It has, I don't know what the, this is called. It's called a Scrimshaw, I believe. Maybe that's not the word for it. It has a sailing boat. Anyway, this this reminds me of a traditional um, buffalo toe or elephant toe. <laughs> so this is called the buffalo tooth, and this is called the elephant toe. But it's it just sort of reminds me of it, a, a modern take on it with one blade. So, oh uh, yeah, where was I getting at? Oh yeah. This, uh, the only drawback I see on this knife, uh, why I like 154 CM, um, I would have liked to experience a different steel on a Finch knife uh, at that price point. Um, you know, I have a full titanium blade, the Ohio River Jack, and, you know, it's full titanium jigged titanium and it's didn't cost me a hundred ninety five dollars it maybe I don't know it was like a hundred sixty five hundred sixty five I think and it was a m390 steel so I, I I believe Finch could have stepped up on the steel on this yeah again this uh, 154 is not bad it's it's a great steel a great steel but I, I for some reason I just want it, I want a different steel for a $195 knife. It's, it's just a little pricey. I could have seen them sell it for maybe $160 to $170 and um, skip the $195. It's, it's pretty expensive for a, a Finch. And, and Finch is, I mean, Finch to me is already overpriced. They, they, they sell their knives... Uh, Typically, uh, the hundred and thirty, hundred forty dollar range. I, I think, uh, I think Finch should sell their knives right about one hundred. You know, the, it's just a they're just a little overpriced, just a little overpriced. That's probably why I haven't picked up any new Finches lately because they just they're over they're they're expensive. I mean, yeah, they look good and they 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 have a their original the original ideas but they're at the same time they're a little bit expensive so I'll probably I'll probably be picking this one up eventually and hopefully uh, it won't sell out or disappear like all the designs sort of disappear I believe you can't get this one anymore and um, I believe this was the exclusive uh, in red. I don't think you can get this one anymore either. So I'll probably be holding on to these two. I, I always I like these two anyway. So hopefully I can get the the same one in wood. I don't like the other. Uh, what do you call it? Like a pearlescent um, type of material. I don't like that. I like the wood. So, and I don't have any wood in, um, wood knives, wood scales in any finches. So let's see how, see how it compares to some modern knives. You can see there it's, and let's compare it to the 1929, which is already small. Let's compare it to some average size or average size, bigger size knives that's also in wood. This is the Conspirator. Wow. It seems big when when it, the Conspirator is in the picture. <laughs> and it is big, but it's just more of a chunk. 
this is the Ahab so you can see how it compares to the Ahab let's let's see another extra large maybe a chunky knife that you compare it to this is the Dam Designs Gin so it's not so such a big knife when you uh, get other truly big knives uh, in the, the picture so but it's definitely a chunky tall knife let's uh, throw a little one in the little knife in there so this is more its size so you can see this is a very little knife very <laughs> very little so you can the the you can see the finch is not as big as they make it out to be it's just what it has going for it is like the chunkiness it's very slender and it has a decent sized blade but it's just all in the tallness and maybe I don't know maybe they were paying a paying homage to uh, the elephant toe but they wanted to make it a little di bit different and uh, call it the buffalo tooth <laughs> so which one would you rather have you would would you want a traditional called the elephant toe or do you much more like the the modern design of a buffalo tooth I'll leave it there. Take care, Wastelanders.